What up? This is Rama Screen, and I'm here talking with the stars of Mangrove, Sean Parks and Malachi Kirby. How are you? How are you, gentlemen? Hey, we're good. How are you doing? Good, good, good. Thank you for taking the time, and congratulations on the film. For both of you, when playing real, actual characters, especially civil rights legends like Frank and Darkus, those are big shoes to step into. Did taking on these roles come with any pressure to get the characters accurately, like you know, mannerism-wise, appearance-wise, accent-wise? What steps did you guys take for that? Um, for me, uh, you know, um, we're, we're both artists, right? So for any character that we play, um, there is the the need. I mean, it's why we train. It's why we we do what we do. Why we've intentionally chosen this this path is so that we can portray these people truthfully and accurately and and with integrity as much as is as we're able to do. Um, for me personally, there was an extra pressure, I guess, because there is so much uh, documentation of him, you know, um, both on video and written about him. Um, so there, are, there is an awareness already of how he was. And so there is, a, there is this thing of comparison that can happen, um, which isn't so healthy to think about. But I did find myself going there sometimes and going, okay, like, how can I become, especially with his accent, and with his voice, with his mannerisms, like he was such a colorful person as a, in, in general anyway. Um, so yeah, there was a pressure, um, but you know, we, we do the work. So it was just listening to him over and over and over and over again, on set and off set, hearing his voice, hearing his, the musicality, um, hearing his, you know, everything that made him who he was, reading as much as we can. Um, and for Darkus in particular, it wasn't enough to just read about him as a person, because him as a person had an awareness of the world. So I had to go cool, like, what can I snap into? Because what would he have been thinking about? What, what would have been resonating with him at the time in terms of what was happening, not just in London, but in Trinidad and in America and you know, elsewhere in Africa? Um, what, what was you know, fueling his, his words and his actions? Um, we didn't have enough time for all of that. Um, so you just, you do what you can and then you turn up on set and give all you've got. Police brutality was a problem back in the 60s, obviously, uh, with the Mangrove Nine, and it's still a problem today uh, with post-George Floyd world. I guess my question is, are we ever going to get to the utopia point of uh, police and law enforcement being all fair and just, or is this always going to be an ongoing battle because racism is a stubborn disease and we can only chip it away gradually? I think there are, I don't know what they are, by the way, but I think that there are ways and means to, 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 to have understanding of the fellow human experience, there are ways and means that haven't been explored yet because I find understanding is what is needed mm. to fully be able to walk forward. Um, and, I, you know, and it's quite possible, if not probable, but quite possible that shows like this, uh, and I know, you know I'm bringing it back round to our show and everything, but it's quite possible that heartfelt shows um, that don't bash people around the head politically, but actually have just have a heartfelt story about them and happen to be true, um, might be able to, um, you know, bring some understanding to the table rather than just, um, you know, a cerebral political um, agendas. Um, one would hope. You know, it's like, what, 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 you know, how do we nitpick and pick away at these things? Well, it seems to me that the, the, the way that people have been doing things is the same for many years. So for me, it's about like, what haven't we tried yet to, to make people understand? And I'm that dude, I'm that guy who's always thinking outside of the box because I know that people have tried the same thing for a hundred years. I'm that guy who says, why don't we just try something else? Um, but I sometimes seem to be alone in that. But uh, but anyway, um, you know, uh, what 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 is the future? Maybe is your question. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, what's needed? I don't know. Uh, do I think a show like ours or sh shows like ours, um, as I've said, heartfelt and, um, and and whatever else that we could use to describe it, uh, can be useful? Yeah. 
Sean and Malachi, thank you so much for talking to me and congratulations on Mangrove. Bless you. Thank you. Thank you.